Welcome to the channel. I hope you had a great summer. Mine was okay. Uh, I spent some time with the family in Colorado. This is one I've wanted to do for a long time and I'm happy that I got around to it. I'm interested in seeing your scores. Uh, feel free to add them to the comments and while you're there, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you did. And I thank you a lot. Okay, let's get started with Poker Jeopardy. The game's intended to be fun for everyone. If you know a little bit about poker history, you should be just fine with it. The rounds are Jeopardy, Double Jeopardy, and Final Jeopardy. Keep track of your score and let me know how you did at the end. All right, let's get started. All right, let's start with the first round in these categories. Main event winners by year, poker in Hollywood, screen names, poker strategy, and finally, presidents who played. So we'll go across each row. We'll do the hundreds, two hundreds, three hundreds, and we'll do it like that. Okay, so let's start with main event winners by year for 100. This player's win in the 2003 WSOP main event is often credited with starting the modern poker boom. Who is Chris Moneymaker? Poker in Hollywood for 100, starring Matt Damon and Edward Norton, this 1998 film revolves around the underground world of high-stakes poker. What is Rounders? Screen names for 100. This player, known for his online screen name Durr, is famous for high-stakes games both online and live. Who is Tom Dwan? Poker strategy for 100. This term refers to making a bet with a hand that's likely not the best, hoping to make better hands fold. What is a bluff? Presidents who played for 100. Despite his reputation for honesty, the 16th president of the United States was known to enjoy a game of poker. Who is Abraham Lincoln? Now we go to the 200s. Main event winners by year 200. Known for his aggressive style and brash behavior, he won the WSOP main event in 1998 and famously declared, You call, it's going to be all over, baby. Who is Scotty Wynn? Poker in Hollywood for 200. This James Bond film features a high stakes poker game in which 007 plays against the villainous Le Chiffre. What is Casino Royale? Screen names for 200. Known online as Kid Poker, this player also has used this screen name on poker sites. What is Dneggs? Poker strategy for 200. This strategy involves playing fewer hands but being aggressive with those you do play, effectively disguising the strength of your hand. What is tight aggressive play or tag? Presidents who played for 200. He was president during the Great Depression and World War II and his poker skills were said to help him with his political negotiations. Who is Franklin Delano Roosevelt or FDR? On to the 300s. Main event winners for 300. He won the 1989 WSOP main event at the age of 24, making him the youngest champion at the time. Who is Phil Hellmuth? Poker in Hollywood for 300. Mel Gibson and Jodie Foster star in this 1994 film involving a poker tournament that once was a TV show. What is Maverick? Screen names for 300. This player is known as Isildur1 in online poker circles and made waves with his high stakes play. Who is Victor Blom? Poker strategy for 300. This concept refers to the amount you can expect to make for every dollar you have put into a pot. What is expected value or EV? Presidents who played for 300. This 35th president, famous for the New Frontier policy, used to play poker with his advisors, but was not considered to be very good at the game. Who is John F. Kennedy, or JFK? On to the 400s. Main event winners by year, 400. He won the WSOP main event in 1980, 1981, and once more 16 years later. 
Who is Stu Unger? Poker in Hollywood for 400. Based on a best-selling book, this 2017 film about the world of high-stakes, celebrity-infested poker games stars Jessica Chastain. What is Molly's Game? Screen names for 400. This player's online alias is OMG Clay Aiken, a name chosen in hopes that other players would be embarrassed to lose to him. Who is Phil Galfond? Poker strategy for 400. This term refers to the calculated amount that a strong hand should raise in order to build a pot, often between three and five times the big blind. What is sizing or bet sizing? Presidents who played for 400. This 26th president of the United States, known for his environmental conservation efforts, was said to use poker games as a way to get to know journalists and political insiders. Who is Theodore Roosevelt? Okay, now we're down to 500, the last of our initial round. Main event winners by year for 500. This 2023 winner of the main event hails from Atlanta, Georgia and took home over $12 million. Who is Daniel Weinman? Poker in Hollywood for 500. In this film, Steve McQueen plays a poker player who enters a high stakes game in New Orleans to prove himself as the best. What is the Cincinnati Kid? Screen names for 500. This well-known poker player and reality show star used the online name Lady Maverick and had a successful online and live tournament career. Who is Vanessa Russo? Poker strategy for 500. The acronym MDF stands for this, a concept that helps players decide the minimum frequency with which they should continue against a bet to remain unexploitable. What is minimum defense frequency? And finally, presidents who played for 500. This 33rd president of the United States ended one war, started another, and was known for hosting regular poker games while he was in office. Who is Harry S. Truman? And now we're moving on to Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for Double Jeopardy. Prop bets, poker presenters, Famous poker hands, poker quotes, and don't give up the day job. Prop bets for 200. This well-known professional was kicked out of a tournament when a prop bet to only move by doing deep knee bends tired him out to the point that he used a bottle at the poker table to relieve himself. Who is Antonio Esfandiari? Poker presenters for 200. Known for her work in movies and television, this actress co-hosted the World Poker Tour on the Travel Channel during its first six seasons. Who is Shauna Hyatt? Famous poker hands for 200. This professional poker player won the 1988 WSOP main event with a full house, jacks full of nines defeating Eric Seidel who held top pair. Who is Johnny Chan? Poker quotes for 200. This player said, if there weren't luck involved, I would win every time. Who is Phil Hellmuth? And finally, don't give up the day job for 200. Phil Lack and Antonio Esfandiari starred in this television show where they performed street magic in addition to playing poker. What is I Bet You? Prop bets for 400. In 2010, this pro bet Ted Forrest that Ted could not bring his weight down from 188 to under 140. Ted won the bet and was not paid the $2 million he was owed. Who is Mike Matisau? Poker presenters for 400. This sports analyst and commentator hosted ESPN's coverage of the World Series of Poker for many years alongside Norman Chad. Who is Lon McCarran? Famous poker hands for 400. In a memorable moment from the 2004 WSOP, this future Hall of Famer was knocked out of the main event when his pocket aces were beaten by a flop set of nines. Who is Phil Ivey? Poker quotes for 400. This poker player and a former Full Tilt Poker board member said, 
Decisions, not results. Who is Howard Letterer? Don't give up the day job for 400. This reality TV show featured Phil Hellmuth and Annie Duke as coaches to amateur poker players. What is the best damn poker show or best damn poker challenge? Prop bets for 600. Tom Dwan bet another player that he could not go without meat for a year. Three weeks later, the bet was over as this player could not continue and Dwan pocketed $150,000. Who is Phil Ivey? Poker presenters for 600. This presenter served as a host for both the World Poker Tour and Poker Stars. She later married a well-known professional poker player. Who is Amanda Negranu or Amanda Leatherman? Famous poker hands for 600. Known for his mathematical approach to the game, this pro lost a crucial hand with pocket kings to Jamie Gold's pocket aces during the 2006 WSOP main event final table. Who is Alan Cunningham? Poker quotes for 600. This poker legend didn't originate this quote, but was known for saying, you can shear a sheep a hundred times, but you can skin it only once. Who is Amarillo Slim? Don't give up the day job for 600. Jennifer Harmon made an appearance in this 2007 poker movie that was less well received than Rounders. What is Lucky You? Prop bets for 800. This poker legend once bet $100,000 that he could outrun a racehorse over a distance of 100 meters. Who is Amarillo Slim? Poker presenters for 800. This Canadian-born former model, poker player, and presenter hosted Poker Night Live in the UK and famously had to wear a bunny suit while doing commentary for EPT San Remo. Who is Kara Scott? Famous poker hands for 800. After flopping three straight flushes in one year with the Jack-9 of clubs, this starting hand was named after this former CFL player. Who is TJ Cloutier? Poker quotes for 800. This player, known for his eccentric personality, is often credited for coming up with this quote, but he didn't. Poker is a lot like sex. Everyone thinks they are the best, but most don't have a clue what they're doing. Who is Dutch Boyd? And don't give up the day job for 800. Doyle Brunson made a guest appearance in this TV drama series centered around a group of poker players. What is tilt? Okay, last row for a thousand. Let's start with prop bets for 1,000. This pro poker player and avid sports better once bet that he could complete four rounds of golf, shooting under 100, without a cart or a caddy in a day. He completed it on a 110 plus degree day in Las Vegas. Who is Eric Lindgren? Poker presenters for 1,000. This Kids in the Hall actor served as the face of Celebrity Poker Showdown, a show where celebrities played poker for charity. Who is Dave Foley? Famous poker hands for 1,000. The 1976 and 1977 WSOP main event ended with this same winning hand. What is 10 deuce? Poker quotes for 1,000. This casino owner once said, the only bad luck for a good gambler is bad health. Any other setbacks are temporary aggravation. Who is Benny Binion? And finally, don't give up the day job for 1,000. He played what else? A poker player in 2009's X-Men Origins Wolverine. Who is Daniel Negranu? Okay, that's it for Double Jeopardy. Here's your final Jeopardy category. Runner-ups. Decide how much you want to bet. I, mean, I know you DGens are going to bet it all, so bet it all, and then give me your point score after you're done. So here's final Jeopardy. In the 1997 World Series of Poker, Stu Unger came back from a significant chip deficit to defeat this opponent, marking Unger's third main event win.
Who is John Strimp or Strozemp? 